Well, Prince William thanking Canadian firefighters for their work battling wildfires. Here's our royal expert, Patricia Treble, who joins us for more. Patricia, good morning to you on this Monday. Good morning, Jeff. Okay, uh, William spoke yeah. with Canadian first responders via a video call. What more can you tell us uh, about this? So this is interesting. He asked for this video call. Um, the High Commissioner in London revealed that. And he does this. he's done this before, um, talked to Canadians by video link. It's a good way to do it if you're not going to come over on a tour. Um, these are very much his bailiwick. So you're talking about the environment with the forest fires, you're talking about first responders and mental and physical health. And this was a grind because 18.5 million hectares are burnt. I mean, coast to coast to coast. And so he was talking with firefighters from across the country. And what came across is their worry. They are absolutely terrified about the climate change. Um, one firefighter, so there was a six and a half minute kind of excerpt that was published online and uh, this, Firefighter from northern Quebec said the temperatures reached more than 40 degrees in northern Quebec. Never experienced that before. And they said if we, they don't get a good winter, then next year could even be worse. Hmm. Oh, it's like, whoa, terrifying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, on the topic of William, Will and Kate have actually been kind of out of yep. the uh, spotlight this past week. You will not see them until the end of the month. Um, and that's simply because the kids are on, on school break. And do not make me under explain the varieties of the British educational system. I do not understand it, um, but they have a two week break and they simply vanish to be with their kids, um, which is lovely. I can fully understand that, um, but it means that for chunks of the year, especially the summer, they simply vanish out of public view. Um, and I've talked about this before, now that he's heir to the throne, um, they're expected to do a lot of work, uh, foreign tours, but this is really becoming a bit of an issue. Hmm. All right, something to keep an eye on. Meanwhile, lots of eyes yesterday on Harry. He was spotted in Texas, as we mentioned at the top of the show, taking in some F1 racing, I Patricia. know. So he was there as a guest of uh, Mercedes. Now, their team did not win. Red Bull won. I had to actually look that up. I am so not, <laughs> not a racing fan. Um, but, yeah, this, so this was interesting. A bit because he had just come back, of course, from New York. They, he and Megan had gone for their luxury vacation in the Caribbean. Um, and now he's off to Texas. So environmentally, I'm assuming there was some private jets involved, but that's a lot of travel in a short amount of time. He might have been there, it might have been a bit of business because he was seen, he was photographed at the races with the CEO of BetterUp, which is a digital coaching company. He is their chief impact officer. Hmm. So he might have had to have flown the flag for the firm. Okay. okay. Great place to have a business meeting. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Although maybe hard to hear over the roar of the cars, the <laughs> engines, but. <laughs> uh, speaking of Harry and Megan, uh, what's uh, with the rumors <laughs> regarding the, them possibly making a cameo on Keeping Up with the Kardashians? Could you imagine? I, okay, I'm trying to see. So the Kardashians, I mean, famous, always put together perfect makeup, all that sort of stuff, right? Perfect houses with Harry and Megan who have cultivated this, you know, image of barefoot, you know, feeding the chickens. I'm trying to imagine the two of them. Apparently, these are the rumors that the Kardashians are wooing them to be on the next season. That would be must-see TV, I'm going to say. Um, would they want to? I don't know. Kardashians are an entertainment powerhouse. I mean, let's face it. Look at everyone who showed up for Kim's uh, 43rd birthday bash. Harry and Meghan were not there. So who knows? We'll believe it when we see it, I think. Okay, all of these rumors started by uh, one particular photo showing the moms, yeah. right? Kris Jenner. Exactly, and Doria Ragland. Yeah. So in, in August, they were seen together. They were having quite a conversation at uh, a social function, uh, you know, in L.A. And so that kind of spawned everything about what might be next down the line. Yeah. All right, we will see if anything is uh, brewing, I'm yep. sure, in the coming weeks. Uh, last week, the King and Queen, they attended a, a dinner at a mansion house in London, mm -hmm. notable for a couple of reasons, Patricia, Charles's speech, and, well, we know your love of tiaras, Camilla's <laughs> tiara. Got a tiara. <laughs> yeah. So I knew the tiara was coming. I was not expecting Charles's speech. Um, and I encourage everyone, it's available online, uh, listen to it, because especially as we're talking about divisions within Britain, within Canada, over uh, the Israel-Hamas crisis. He focused on that, and he wrote and rewrote it um, right up to the time he was giving it. And in it, he talks about Britain, and you'll see echoes to Canada, about a, being a community, a community of communities. And he says everyone has the right to think and to speak freely, 
but at the same time, you have to listen and to respond with civility. And that's really resonated, I think, with a lot of people. It was very widely acclaimed. And I think it, it makes an impact because he is not a politician. He is somebody who has always cared for decades deeply about uh, multicultural Britain. And so this was a big one for him. And then there's a tiara. And then there's a tiara. This is not any tiara. Queen's been breaking out some of the late Queen's, you know, jewelry. I'm going to spectacular, but I'm going to say the secondary ones. This is the most famous, the most iconic tiara probably in the world. I'm going with it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. It's 130 years old. She is the third queen to wear it. Um, and it really signifies I am the queen. The whole queen consort, all that sort of stuff. This is her on the stage. Interestingly, that necklace that was given to the late queen for her 21st birthday by the government of South Africa. They were on a tour there, she and her family. 21 perfect diamonds. And they actually shortened it, 15 in the necklace, six on the bracelet. So this is her kind of stepping out. Yeah. Wow, look at that, okay. Uh, it's spectacular. Yeah, even off this monitor, I'm getting blind. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that sparkly note, thank you, Patricia. There you go.